Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Presenting the challenger, Big. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Imagomedov. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. The night will come. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker. We have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Plus right hand is true. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, 
Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Way to hide that leg kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice body kick. Plans the right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Not there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nurmagomedov. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Caught that kick there. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice kick. Nice one, two there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. Hey, cool. I mean. Slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they settle. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice punch lands. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, huge head kick. We talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from W. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Blocks the shot. Collar tie. Big kick land. There's no give on that leg kick. Twenty seconds left. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice. Try to establish that jab. Second round, straight ahead. Stop. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment.
Let's go out there and let's put them. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, that's a good right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hand upstairs. Blocks that kick to the bottom. Nicely done. Great punch. Real nice body kick. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice straight punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, you man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, single collar tie here. I mean, he cuts it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he just missed on that overhand left. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Real quick leg kick. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Ooh, what a punch. Checks the leg kick. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, suddenly he'll change his stance. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice kick. Visibly limping here. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Just a slip there. Nice loop at once. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just missed with the left there. 30 seconds to go in the round. Another clinch position. And they separate. Beautiful Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. He 
loaded up there on that high kick. What a round! All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a fire fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful. Get his head and throwing that jab. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big head kick land. Right on the button. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Oh, and that kick is blocked. 128 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. 38% thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is a opponent. Nice strike. And there comes the separation now. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Boy, Ty Plum. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Superman punch lands! Big kick lands. 
That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands off. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, big elbow. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. You certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. He's able to slip the left. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big kick. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Just out of range with that strike. Nice leg kick land. Oh, big punch land. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big kick land. Defensively, as he blocks the shot. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Come on, buddy. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Don't wait, you hit him. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. And both guys really throwing with a sword. Under two minutes now to go. Liver kick. There it is. Take a shot now. Take a shot. Unable to connect there. How good is that right hand? Oh! 
Oh, collar tie. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one. Blocked by Nurmagomedov. Straight punch lands. Looks like his leg is hurt. See him limping a little bit. Into the final minute now of this championship fight. Big kick lands. Lands flush with that right hand. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Good stick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that dude. Nice leg kick. Visibly limping here. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Awesome. I love what you're doing out there. That striking is on point. Okay? We knew this is where we are going to be. So let's get out there and stay. Are you ready? Ready? It is the fifth and final round. Big head kick land. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nermago Meta. Body kick is blocked. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Big leg kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. Head kick lands. Beautiful kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. That'll do it! He's done, he's done! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. Well, I'm not sure any heavyweight would have beat this champion, this man here tonight, the UFC heavyweight king, getting it done by TKO. The flurry of strikes just absolutely too much for his opponent here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 49 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO.
All right, so we've got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.